Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find out what's happened to this little village. Uh, I hear some uh, some dogs over there, so let's get ready for that. Um, I guess they don't like fire. Rabid dog. Oh my goodness. Okay. Be gone. Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away. Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream, how he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. Who took them? The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. the terrors yet the village froze like in the heart of winter you in that hut when they rode off no and i'll not set foot there never farewell and peace of mind to you <laughs> okay well let's check out the hut i'll grab uh, some of the loot uh, here First of all, sell this to someone. So I guess the game is showing me which hut we need to look in first. This one over here. There's a uh, hoof prints all around here. Traces of ice around the footprints. Really? Hmm. Him. 
Maybe they missed something. Should check his boots. Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. Okay. I guess. Uh, okay, I can't check again, so I guess that's what I was looking for. Could be something hidden under the rug. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Aha. Okay, well I guess we're... We're heading down. And uh, that's what the key was for. Oh, gee. Missing Tamara Stringer, daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped. Hmm, I wonder if he had something to do with that. Hmm, interesting. It's very dark in here. Ah, some money, finally. Okay, so we have opened up uh, like a secret uh, bookshelf here. What is inside? A ledger. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. What's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talked to Baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Ill indeed. And uh, I think that's all. Somehow so they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Hmm. Okay, quest updated. Uh, go to the Baron's castle. Uh, maybe we can uh, see if we can find this witch as well. I'll take a quick look at the journal. Alright, let's get out of here. I might explore some of the other houses just to see if there's anything interesting. So we've got two quests here. I think go to the Baron's journal. I'll uh, go to the, uh, the Baron's um, you know, castle and then hunt the witch as well. Midcopes. Um, so, yeah, we should have a look and see where these places are and see which is the closest. I do also want to head back to uh, Mulberrydale and uh, complete the quest for the priest which I think is around here somewhere and I can uh, have a look at all of these uh, items of interest over here um, but let's check okay it's down there to the south the bloody baron alright how about hunting a witch uh, let's put that one on the map and oh, that one's down there 
southwest. Okay, well, I'm going to have a look around this uh, this village first before I do anything else. Because uh, you never know what you'll find. Check out some of the other houses if I can. Dwarven spirit. Okay, there we go. It's already worth it. Already found some alcohol for my uh, my potions. More dwarven spirit times two. Nice. Okay, this is good. This is what I need. This is what I need for my uh, uh, my alchemy. Um, I should meditate as well and see if there's anything else I can make. This is why you don't just run off and head straight to the next quest, because you miss all of this stuff. A little bit of uh, loot. Oh, rotting flesh. I guess I don't need that. Even the plates, you can deconstruct them. Or sell them for a little bit. I should keep an eye on the map because I'm getting turned around uh, quite a bit. If I can clear this one out. Nope. Ah, oh, there's a, an old uh, tower there as well. So we should definitely check that out. All right, just some rotten meat and some plates there. Nothing really of interest. It's just the uh, dwarven spirit that is really going to come in handy. Oh, this one's locked. Keys required. Hmm. Could have a little look around and uh, see if I can find that key anywhere. I like how now we're in a cold area, you can see Geralt's breath. Alright, what have we got here? Alchemy paste. Ah, some more Dwarven Spirit, nice. Just have a look at a few of the other houses. We'll probably end up accidentally missing a few. And I won't be exploring every house in every village, but I think it's... Uh, important to have a look at this village and see if there's any other clues. I wonder if we can figure out which way the uh, the wild hunt went. She who knows. She who knows. The folks say there were four at first. The mother, she who knows, the lady of the wood, came here from a faraway land and since she suffered terribly from loneliness, she made three daughters out of dirt and water. A long, long time ago, the mother was sole ruler of all of Velen. Her daughters brought her the people's requests and served as her voice. Each spring, sacrifices of grain, animals, and men were made to the Lady of the Wood on her special night. Sacrifices of men. Yet as the years passed, the Lady of the Wood slipped deeper and deeper into madness. Her madness eventually spread over land. Men took to abandoning their homes and setting out into the bog where they had become food for beasts. Before long, Velen was drowning in blood. The daughters saw their land nearing destruction and took it upon themselves to save it. When spring came once more, and with it the night of sacrifices, they killed their mother and buried her in the bog. Her blood watered the oak atop Ard Serban, and from there, uh, from then on the tree grew wholesome and hearty fruit for the people. As for the lady's immortal soul, it refused to leave its beloved land, and so the sisters imprisoned it. To this day it lies trapped beneath the whispering hillock, where it thrashes about in powerless rage. 
The Whispering Hillock. Uh, I may come across that in my travels. And uh, we may find uh, the mother of Velen. Who knows? Who knows what we will find? Alright, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe this one here. Ah, that's locked as well. Okay, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the keys to these places. Um, Roach. So, the trail has split off into two. Uh, the Bloody Baron. And I was told not to, uh, not to go and see him. And also a witch. Somewhere down... Probably in a swampy area. Uh, where is she? Oh, she's down there. Oh, she's down in a little village down there. Maybe she's more of a healer than a witch. I'm not sure. Um, let's head back. Is there any reason to stop at the crossroads? Let's head back there first of all. There's nothing of interest up here. I'm sure there are things of interest up there. Um, it's just not showing on the map. Oh, the tower. Easy. Wait, let's exp let's move it. Let's check out this tower while I'm here. Okay. Um, see if I can get inside. Lots of birds up there. How do, I get in? How do I get into this tower? There are some uh, animals as well. I assume they're wild dogs. So I'm going to prepare for that. Abandoned tower, okay. I don't even think this is one of the question marks on the map. Here we go. A couple of wild dogs. And a wolf. Missed. Great. Uh, they completely ignored me. <laughs> um, now, I missed the notification. I'm not sure how much experience I got for that. Hopefully a little bit. Um, how do I get up to this tower? That's the question. I don't know where that thunder's coming from. Get inside. I'm just wasting my time trying to climb up at the moment. I'm not. Can I get in here? No. Nope. Where's the Where's the door? Where's the front door? I can't see one. <laughs> oh, there. No, it's just a window. Looks like. Oh, maybe there's nothing in there. Looks like it's pretty empty. Okay, let's go, Roach. I think there's, uh, there's nothing there. Oh, it has started to rain. Oh, those clouds came over pretty quick, go, didn't they? Go. Let's go, Roach, come on. Oh, lightning. Nice, uh, nice effects there. Let's head this way around the, the icy village here. Take a different path back. Oh dear. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is not good. Oh my goodness. Oh, better have some bread here. Uh, do I have a swallow potion <laughs> at all? I don't think I've found one. Um, and I don't have the, what have we got? Necrophage oil. Thunderbolt potion increases attack power by 30%. I do have a couple of swallow potions. Um, where do I put them? Here? I'll put them here, okay. Wait, what is this? Apple juice. Right, let's get rid of the, the dumplings for now, and I'll pop in a swallow potion for battles like that when things get really difficult. Um, I should put it in the same... Uh, I'm going to use it as... Uh, wait a minute. I'm going to keep these in the same spot every time, so I'll get used to pressing the, the same button. So if I press R, we don't need one now, we'll just grab some apple juice and... Um, I should heal up over time. Oh, there's quite a few of them there, a lot, a lot more than I expected. There's a lot of wild animals in this part of... Uh, Part of Valen. Roaches run off as well. Oh, it's being chased by a um it's being chased by a dog. Hey. Okay. Now we're done, I think. <laughs> Poor Roach. He's getting chased around by a dog. Some of the uh, the fools parsley there as well. Okay, Roach. Ah, uh, he looks fine. Somehow we've ended up all the way up here. Don't quite know how that happened. How did I? <laughs> how did I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> calm down, Roach. Faster. They're, they're, they're dead, Roach. How did I end up all the way up there? I followed the wrong road. There's some more dogs. I don't want to face them right now. Let's just run straight past them. Not so fast, Roach. Okay, so we are heading left here. There's so many... Whoa there, Roach. Ah, there's just so many little paths. It's hard to know which one leads to where. There's something up here we could have a look at, but let's... Let's take the, uh, the main path back. Okay, yeah, I remember that abandoned hut. This is the way we came in. Oops. Run, Roach. What's going on here? Oh, the bandits. Uh, okay.
Could try odd. They've got shields. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Oh my goodness. Let's go back to there. this no back this way come on oh he got me no oh my goodness let's use the um uh, the potion here I really shouldn't need it at this time but um, these guys are blocking the fire. How about this? Did not like that, did he? How about you too, buddy? There we go. That's enough of that. Whew. Okay, well they did not like me looting their corpses. They, it's, it's funny, they just completely ignored me. Uh, unless I stepped in to grab their stuff. But they've obviously killed these villagers. And uh, were looting their bodies when I came upon them. Anyway, we've gotten rid of those bandits. They won't be killing anyone else. Horse blinders. Maribor sword. Uh, let's grab all of that. There's one more. Somewhere. Over here. Alright, Roach. Um, I do have something for for Roach now, so I can use the blinders. Uh, is it the armor section? Should stop him from uh, getting too scared. Ah, here we go. Increases the horse's uh, fear level. Let's give him the blinders there and see how he looks. Okay. I did have to use the Swallow Potion for that battle. Those guys were a little bit tougher than I expected. Are there Whoa, more bandits here? Oh no, these guys are at the uh, the Move shrine, it. I think. I think we're fine here. Slow now. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little shrine. This is just outside the village as well. Okay, back up we go. First village, or well, the second village we came across should be just here. Everyone is getting out of the rain. I wonder if there's anyone to talk to. You can't see the names when you're on uh, when you when you're on Roach, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had to look at these, didn't I? No, I didn't. Did I skip this for some reason? Uh, missing Mikkel. My true-born brother Mikkel is missing. Anyone who finds him, or at least finds out what fate has met him, will be generously rewarded. 
and I'll slip a good word to the Baron about you as well. You'll find me at the inn at the crossroads, in Bruno. Uh, watch what you say, the trees have ears. Score your tell note. Okay, looks like they're collecting all the cows. Hmm. Right. Um, yeah, I didn't see that quest before. Let's take a quick look at the journal. Uh, there should be a... Oh, contract for the missing brother. Suggested level 33. Okay, I'll leave that one for now. We'll carry on our way. Um, I do think the inn at the crossroads is right... Yeah, it's right here. Maybe we could step in and um, at least find out where he went missing. So we need to talk to Bruno. I wonder if we're going to find Dandelion. Old oh, man. Leave me be. All right, Bruno. A Witcher, and not a second too soon. Don't get your hopes up. I'm only level four, so I don't think I'll be completing this contract anytime soon. Understand you have a contract for me. Oi. It's my brother, Mickle. Been a week now since he took the women of Bellows into the hills. The women of Bellows? Bellows were a rich village, till the war passed through. Huts were burned down, larders cleared out, all the menfolk conscripted. Women were left to fend for themselves, without food nor shelter. No one wanted them. Redanians wouldn't let them into Novigrad, so Mickle took them to the old mines. Get them out of the rain, at least. And I've not had word from him since. Could look into it. If you paid me more. Okay, oh, we get to haggle. Could try, uh, 300. 298. Alright, my brother's life's at stake, so I can't skimp. It's a deal. All right, I'll look for your brother. How will I recognize him? Shouldn't be hard. He was the only lad in a group of women. Corpses aren't always in a condition where I can determine the sex. Corpses? Take it back. They got lost is all. But if worst comes to worst, well, he had calfskin ankle boots, work of Master Clogs. Told him not to wear them into the hills. He'd only ruin them. But he was so proud of them. Think I know enough. Thanks. Okay, find the missing brother in the mine near the inn at the crossroads, so it's not too far away. Let's have a chat with the innkeeper first. Hmm. Rig change? Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me He was selling got. some cards, wasn't he? So, I mean, I might be able to pick them up now, but I do need to keep up my supply of food as well. Nausicaa Cavalry Rider. Uh, th these are all for Nilfgaard. Oh, there is a neutral one here. For 10. Pick that up. 20. Let's pick them all up while we're here. Just in case I forget. Cherry Cordial is an alchemy ingredient. I'm going to grab one of those just in case I need it as well. Okay. Um, actually, I could probably sell off some drink. stuff as well. Show me what you got. Did pick up a few things along... Oh, I can't sell this stuff. What does he buy? Sell off the dinner plates. Broken rake. Razor. I might be able to deconstruct some of this stuff. Probably don't need the keys anymore. Sell off the doll and white wolf hide. Hmm. 
sell off the uh, the rotting flesh. He's not buying armor, is he? So, okay, that's fine. I might find another buyer for uh for the armor. Thanks. Farewell. So I'm gonna carry on heading back to the battlefield near the uh, hanging tree. Faster. Where we entered this area. Come on, Roach. I think we need to be continuing over here to uh, Mulbridge, Mulberry Dale. Actually, let's uh, let's put this on the map here. The funeral pyres. Find and burn the bodies lying in pits on the battlefield. Now, let's go and see where these are exactly. Uh, there's three of them. The first, closest one's there. So I'll uh, head to the north and go and grab that one up there. So let's put a marker on that one. Not so fast, Roach. Okay. Don't stop raining, my awesome rock -off. So I shouldn't be too far away. It is off the beaten track though, so we might come across some ghouls or something, especially if there's a lot of bodies around. Actually, I, I am expecting to meet a few ghouls out here. Go. Nothing so far. That's interesting. Aha. Slow now. Whoa. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. Oops, wrong button. Come on, Igni. Oh, gosh. There's another one behind me. Nice. Ah, let's grab this loot. Uh, for a start, I assume all of the um, all of the places will be um, will have attracted these ghouls. At least they're all piled up together. Now for a shot of Igni. Okay, just stand back a little bit. Oh, I could have examined them first. It's too late now. It's too late to examine them now. <laughs> I'll examine the next set. Anything else around here? Have they left? Any of their weapons behind or anything like that? I don't think so. Alright, Roach. Let's uh, head to the next uh, location down here. There is a point of interest down there as well. Just gonna have a little bit of uh, apple juice. Now I don't think Geralt heals up when I meditate either, so I will need to make sure I have a stock of food on me. 
There's something here. Is that a bear? It's just one of them. Come on now. I mean, I ignored the last bear because I didn't think that girl would go around just killing bears. Unless it's like a were bear or something. But uh, I think we'll leave that one as well. Faster. It's a bear, it's not a monster. Guys are a little bit tougher. They burn well. Oh, they explode! I forgot about that. I did forget about their explosions. <laughs> okay, where are we going? It's just uh, down. Yeah, anyone else? Anything else? Oh, no, I can't examine that. I can only use. Okay. Anything else around here? No. Okay. Let's set this one alight. Now for a shot of Igni. Okay, second one done. There's another wolf down here as well. This roach attracted a wolf. Okay, come on Roach, he's run quite far away. Let's see if I can bring him back. And uh, we'll head to the final location. Um, I think there's a place of interest near here as well. Hmm. Now let's get this quest done. Let's straight down there for now. I'll explore the places of interest a little bit later. And uh, should be there in a second. My goodness, there's a lot of rock fiends there. Alright, we've got to help this guy out. Oop. Galeus. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect. But the fourth, his man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. 
Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. Okay, I did hear something about the religious leaders controlling a, a village or an area and then um, an underground criminal organization being a part of that or something like that. I, heard, I have heard some gossip somewhere along the way. Anyway, let's grab the loot here. Um, sprinkle this. Now for you, a shot of igni. You might want to stand back, Titus. There we go. Job done. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do about this priest. there as well. Okay, well, I guess... I guess we need to find out what is going on with this, uh, the Order of the Flaming something or other. Let's see where we are on the map. Now, where was that priest? Oh, he's up there, that's right. He said he was going to meet us at a different location. Um, I assume he's got some guards up there. I'm expecting that to be a, a bit of a fight. Um, so I might head back to Mulberrydale first, have a bit of a rest, and then we will, uh, we will face him for the next episode. Roach. Hey -ya. Let's just put that on the map. Um, I'll find a place to rest up there. Was that the burnt out village actually? Might not exactly be a nice place to rest. I'll find a spot up here on this uh, this hill. We're pretty close to him now, aren't we? Oh no, that's the that's the marker, right? Okay, so this is this is basically where we began uh, this Slower. level. Uh, I'm going to uh, just stop here and meditate for a couple of hours. What's the meditation button? And uh, let's meditate for um, yeah, just a few hours there. And we've replenished some of the alchemy items as well, so it's nice that uh, Geralt does that by himself. 